Instead of stating the obvious and telling everyone how amazing you are, I thought I would tell one of my favourite stories about you. For those that know Tilly, will know she can be a fussy eater. But who doesn't like someone who knows what they want? Right, Matilda? Anyway, one Sunday afternoon, when Tilly and I had first started seeing each other, safe to say, we were a little hungover, driving down Sterling Highway, trying to get food. The car was pretty quiet, not much chat, when all of a sudden, Tilly starts yelling and pointing. Oh my God, oh my God. I slam on the brakes, brace for impact. Matilda has her mouth open, pointing out the window at the Red Rooster delivery vehicle. She turns to me and says, not all heroes wear capes. I've been lucky enough to have known Scott since I was six years old. Um, he's always been the quintessential blonde Cottesloe surfer boy, so it's no surprise he's ended up with Tilly, who is really just a younger, hotter, female version of himself. And Scott couldn't be happier. In the early days, Scotty was a grommet, through and through. Straight away, I had no idea what he was on about. Down at Slimy's, in the green room, dropping in at North Point, checking out rabbits. You! <laughs> Welcome officially to the wedding of Scott Northey and Matilda Hardcastle. Welcome for many of you to Perth, to Australia, to Bunker Bay Farm. It really means the world to Scott and Tilly to have you here today. Scott has always loved the ocean. So we've, um, we've been pretty fortunate to, uh, to be spoilt with um, seafood, both Sue and I. But it was about 18 months ago, we realised that we weren't seeing a lot of seafood. And then the penny dropped. The seafood fests were being held at the Hardcastle's house. Scott, Scotty was softening up Phil and Jody so he could marry their daughter. Phil, he had you hook, line and sinker. Scotty is a guy that sees a path and can commit to it. Tilly, you're one of those paths. The way he talks about you, the way he loves you, the way you are in one of those unwavering commitments. And we are so happy he's chosen that path. You're the most selfless human with the biggest heart and there is uh, nobody else that can lighten up a room or motivate others to have, a, to have a great time. Scotty, with Tilly, you found your match. Someone who will not only pull you up, but put up with you and I can tell she is making you a stronger person. Well, what an amazing day so far. If the first few hours are anything to go by, we're in for a cracking evening. Tilly's first memory, I don't know if many of you know this, because I did of Scott was of him attempting to talk her into tequila shots at Avenue about seven years ago. <laughs> As it turns out, Scott didn't remember that night at all and he found himself at his sister Sarah's birthday two years later looking across the party thinking, who is this blonde bombshell and how have we never met before? you've plenty to look forward to. You have someone who shares your love of the beach, summer, food and fine wine. You also get to hold the hand of the most beautiful girl in every room. You have someone to call yours, someone ferociously passionate, skilled and most importantly, intelligent. So may your lifetime begin with
the northeast. Scott, we've got one live and I'm unbelievably lucky you've come into mine and stuck. My mum always said, marry someone you want to sit next to at the dinner party for the rest of your life and I know you are that person. You let me be me and I love you being you. Together we are us, I love us and I am grateful that I get to become your wife. If I help you up, will you lead me through the night? Will you take my heart? Can you promise me? I can't believe the day has finally arrived and I can't believe I can now call you my wife. Matilda, you are the most beautiful person, both inside and out. You look stunning tonight, which is no different to any other day. And I can't wipe the smile off my face when I think about spending forever with you. If I help you up, will you lead me through the night? Will you take my heart? Can you promise me?